I'm Lorraine Herring, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the practice that I've outlined for you in The Writing Warrior. Um, this is going to be a series of a couple of different um, videos. One of them is going to be talking about the three-part breathing. One of them is going to be a two-part series on the shaking, and then the other part is going to be about the writing practice. So this is just an overview of what I was kind of, you know, thinking about as I was setting this up. Um, I think it's really important to continue to maintain a relationship with the body um, while you're working on your writing. I think it's so easy for writers to get just very, very stagnant. Um, you sit all day, your shoulders get hunched up, your fingers get tight, your wrists hurt, all kinds of stuff. And you kind of um, isolate yourself. I know I can spend hours and hours and hours in my office at home and, and emerge and it's like, wow, where did the day go and where did my life go? And, and um, so returning to the body helps to keep us here um, which can really help when we're doing a lot of the a lot of the writing that can really pull a lot of stuff out of us that um, that can sometimes rattle us around a little bit. Um, so I've got a very short practice put together for you guys, um, and I know that a lot of people, myself included, will buy books on writing and read things and, and just kind of read the book and not really do anything. Um, and so I had hoped that by doing some videos, it might um, inspire you to actually do some of the activities that I talk about too. Um, so. In the practice, we've got three parts. The first part is a three-part breathing activity, um, and this is very, very simple. Um, and then the second part is a physical shaking practice, and the third part is a, a free write, basically. None of these components are complicated. Um, none of them are revolutionary in any way. What I wanted to do was to, to create something that people could do in a very short amount of time that I thought would be very effective. Um, it wouldn't interrupt their day, wouldn't require extra equipment, wouldn't require you to join a gym, go hike a mountain, or any of that kind of stuff. You could do it anywhere. Um, and you could be in just about any kind of physical condition and still do this. Um, so the, the purpose of the three-part breathing is to help bring you home first to the breath and become aware of the proper way to breathe. Um, if you've read my, my earlier book, Writing Begins with the Breath, I talk a lot about, um, about breathing and, and we have some activities in there using pranayama, using breath work to help deepen the writing practice. Here, um, it's just a simple three-part breathing focusing on an expanding of the belly on the inhale and a release on the exhale. Um, many, many people um, don't breathe properly. They'll contract their bellies in on the inhale. Um, I know when I was first learning how to breathe, I didn't realize how much I didn't know how to breathe until I fell into my, my first yoga class about 12 years ago down in Phoenix. Um, and I was really surprised and it felt really weird to expand the belly out. I had spent all kinds of, of time trying to suck everything in and be as thin as possible and um, it didn't really work so well. And uh, what I was doing was of course contracting everything. And when the breath is impeded, your energy is impeded and your ability to move through the world is also impeded. So that's, that's our three-part breathing intention. Um, with the shaking, the shaking is really just a very visceral response to stagnation. Um, we shake naturally all the time. Um, think about a dog getting out of a pool of water. They just, bleh, and just shake everything out. We're going to be doing the same thing with our bodies, and we're doing an internal shaking and an external shaking. By doing the shaking practice, uh, you're giving your internal organs a nice massage. You're helping to break up stagnation in the joints, um, in the muscles, all the way through the body. Um, and it, it, I, it's a weird thing to do at first, uh, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, when my teacher first introduced it, um, pretty much no one was more resistant than me. It required, you know, moving, which I generally try to avoid at all costs, which is probably why I do a lot of teaching on the importance of moving, because I know how much I need to keep doing it in my own life. Um, and uh, as part of my training with him, we were doing a 90-day um, shaking practice. So I had to do this for 90 days because I paid for the training, right? So I had to keep showing up and doing it. And um, I really found very quickly that the shaking was bringing up a lot of emotion. Um, and as I continued and stayed focused on, on doing the practice, it wasn't about doing the practice with an intention to purge myself of everything about this particular situation. It was just an intention to keep showing up and shaking. I found that things naturally began to pass away. Um, and one of the issues that I work with a lot is holding on to things too tightly. And the shaking was really a, a fabulous gift in, um, in impermanence. Things come in, things go, things come in, things go. And through practicing shaking, I was able to really see um, or, or feel, in fact, without even maybe a cognitive awareness of what it was, where I still had places that I was stuck energetically. And so when you're stuck energetically in your body, you're going to be stuck energetically in, in your writing. And um, I feel like, like any of these practices are lifelong practices. Um, everything we can learn, everything we can do that's going to bring us a deeper intimacy with the self and a deeper intimacy with the page um, is worth at least giving a shot. 
Um, and then the final one is a, um, a free write. It's a five minute free write. Each of these steps is five minutes um, as a minimum. You can go as long as you want with any of them. Um, and the free writing is just exactly like it sounds. And the reason it's coming at the end of the practice is because I wanted you to first be grounded with the breath, then begin to open with the shaking, and then write while you're in that place of openness. And I did not want to provide a prompt at that point because I wanted you to start to become aware of what things keep resurfacing for you. So as you begin the practice, um, first day you might notice one thing, second day you might notice something else, third day something else. But if you keep going 5, 10, 20, 30 days, you're going to notice some patterns coming back. You're going to notice a lot of things like, oh, it's that story again. Oh, wow, huh, I'm still thinking about him or I'm still thinking about that place or... Um, I still have that ache in my shoulder and that's going to be a way that the body and the breath and your your inner inner guidance is communicating with you and that's the purpose of that free write it's not about working on a novel working on a poem although those things might come from that but it is it is simply about deepening the communication with yourself before you move on to whatever you've got set up for you during the day for the writing um, the book does have specific writing exercises at the end of every part um, the exercises are broken up into two parts one part is for deepening your relationship with yourself, and the other part of the writing exercises are focused on works in progress that you're working on. So we have more inner journey focuses and then um, more craft-based focuses within the text. So that's the overview of the practice, and um, I hope you'll watch the other videos. Thank you very much.